Hello and welcome to Answering ATPL. In this video, we will examine the properties of Mercator's projection. First, we will look at the basic cylindrical projection and its problem and how Gerardus Mercator solved the problem inherited by basic cylindrical projection. Next, we will look at five properties of a Mercator's chart. And lastly, we will look at the summary of Mercator chart properties. Section 1. The Basis of Mercator's Projection As mentioned in the previous video, Mercator's projection are based on cylindrical projection. Pure cylindrical projection are not conformal and can't be used for navigation. The reason why cylindrical projection are not conformal is unequal scale expansion in all directions. First, let's look at cylindrical chart expansion along the horizontal axis. On the screen is a section of a globe graticule. I will simulate what will happen to the graticule when the graticule are projected onto a cylinder. Please focus your attention on the blue line. As you can see, the line is elongated. As you may recall, we can measure the distance along a parallel by using the departure formula. Departure equal change of longitude multiplied by cos latitude. In our example, the distance of the line along the equator represented by the green line is change of longitude times 60 and the distance of the blue parallel is change of longitude multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos latitude. Detailed explanation on departure can be found in my previous video titled Distance. Link is available in the description and the top right hand corner of this video. As you can see, both the green line and the blue line has the same length. The scale is changing away from the equator. Scale is defined as the ratio between chart length and earth distance. It can either be represented as a ratio or a fraction. Details explanation on scale will be covered in the future video. For now, let's focus on the fraction format. Scale equal to chart length over earth distance. Let's assume the chart length of both green and blue line is 1 for ease of calculation. Therefore, the scale at the equator is 1 over change of longitude multiplied by 60. At the same time, the scale at blue parallel is 1 over change of longitude multiplied by 60 multiplied by cos latitude. If we compare both equations, we can cancel the repeating value. As you can see, the remaining value is 1 over cos latitude. 1 over cos latitude is the expansion factor along the cylindrical projection horizontal axis. In mathematic term, 1 over cos is also known as secant. Now, let's look at the expansion along the cylindrical projection vertical axis. The diagram on the screen represents the front view cutout of cylindrical projection. The circle represents reduced earth and the rectangle represents the cylinder. Line A in green represents the equator. There are two more parallels B and C in blue. The distance between AB and BC is the same on the reduced earth. As we had learned in previous video, a light source is placed at the center of the reduced earth, represented as a cross labeled as O. 
light emit from this point in all direction. For simplicity, we will only focus on three light paths represented by the orange line. Light path A hit reduce us and the paper almost instantaneously. Light path B hit the reduce us simultaneously as light path A but need some time to reach the paper. Light path C hit the reduce us simultaneously as light path A and B but need longer time than light path B to reach the paper. Because of this phenomenon on the paper, length of AB is shorter than BC. The radius of the reduced earth, the vertical distance and the light path form a right angle triangle. In this diagram, we have two triangles OAC and OAB. We can use trigonometry to find the expansion factor by comparing between AB and AC length. Tangent latitude B is equal to AB over OA. We can rewrite it as AB equal to OA tangent latitude B. Tangent latitude C is equal to AC over OA. We can rewrite it as AC equal to OA tangent latitude C. As you can see, OA is common in both distance. The thing that changes is tangent of latitude. Therefore, we can conclude that the expansion factor in the vertical axis is tangent latitude. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new content. As I had explained in the previous video, the scale need to expand at the same rate for a chart to be conformal. Mercator in the 16th century adjusted the vertical axis expansion factor of pure cylindrical projection mathematically from tangent latitude to second latitude. By applying the adjustment, both vertical and horizontal axis expand at the same rate making the chart conformal. Since the chart is altered mathematically, it is no longer considered as a perspective projection. Mercator's projection is classified as a non-perspective projection. Having established how Mercator's chart are constructed, let's examine its properties. Section 2. Mercator's Projection Chart Properties The list of properties that we will look into are as follow. Scale Reticule chart conversion, rum line, and grid circle. Scale As discussed in the previous section, the light path at point A hit reduce us and the paper almost instantaneously. Due to this reason, no expansion happened at point A, unlike other places on the chart. Therefore, Mercator chart scale is correct at the equator. Away from equator, scale expand as the second of the latitude. More discussion on Mercator scale will be included in the future video. Graticule Line on the screen represent Mercator's chart graticule. Meridian on Mercator's chart are equally spaced parallel straight line. In contrast, parallel on Mercator chart are parallel straight line not equally spaced. For those who are not aware, meridian is similar to longitude line and parallel is equivalent to latitude line. Even though their definitions are quite different, we can use them interchangeably. Chart Convergent 
Before we look at chart conversion, we need to revise Earth's conversion. In my previous video titled Grid Circle, Small Circle, Rum Line, Convergency and Conversion Angle, I had explained that Earth's conversion is the angle of inclination of meridian. It happened because all meridians are converging at the pole. Conversion can be measured by comparing the start direction and the final direction when you travel between two points via a grid circle track on the Earth's surface. Conversion can also be measured from the angle produced by the tangent to the meridian of two points. The angle of the tangent to the meridian changes with latitude. Earth conversion equal to change of longitude time sine mean latitude. Now I will introduce the concept of chart conversion. Chart convergence differ for different type of projection. During projection, the point where the paper touches the reduced earth is also known as parallel of tangency. For Mercator's projection, parallel of tangency is at the equator. To get the chart conversion, we can substitute sine mean latitude from earth conversion formula with sine parallel of tangency. The equator is 0 degree latitude. Substitute 0 degrees into the formula. Sine 0 is 0. Thus, Mercator chart conversion is 0. We can also prove that the Mercator's chart conversion is 0 visually. Since all meridians on Mercator charts are parallel, if we move one onto another, they overlap and the angle between them is zero at any latitude. Therefore, we can conclude Mercator chart conversion is zero. Rum line and grid circle. On the screen is a segment of the Earth's graticule. The shortest route from point A to point B is marked by blue line representing a grid circle. To travel from point A to point B in a constant direction, we need to travel via the RAM line marked by the red line. If we project these lines onto a chart using Mercator projection, it will look like this. As you can see, on a Mercator's chart, the RAM line appear as a straight line and grid circle appears as a curved line concave to the equator. Section 3. Summary of Mercator's Projection Properties Summary of Mercator projection property are as follow. Scale, correct at the equator and expand away at the factor of second latitude. Graticule, parallel, parallel straight line not equally spaced. Meridian, parallel straight line equally spaced. Chart conversion is zero. Rum line, straight line. Great circle, curve concave toward the equator. On the screen is the summary of Mercator's Lambert's conformal and polar stereographic properties. You can download the PDF copy of this table by using the link in the description. What do you think of this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you find the video beneficial, Please like it and share with others. By doing so, you will help other people to find the video. Don't forget to subscribe and if you need additional help in your exam preparation, consider joining Answering ATPL membership. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the following video.